This is my travel EDC. I'm currently staying in a hotel room for work and as you can see it's it's not a bad hotel room really. Um, I've got all my gear here. Uh, but what I'm doing this video for is to show you my travel EDC which I keep in this Maxpedition Fatty or Fat Boy, I can't remember what it's called. Um, but this is it, so I thought I might as well show you the contents. And um, sometimes, if I'm being more weight conscious, I take the Max Petition Micro EDC organizer, which I've got loaded out with stuff as well. But let's have a look and see uh, what's in it, which way is the best way for the light. I suppose this way. Um, I might as well start with what's at the front. Um, in here, I've got a cotton bud, uh, obvious what that's for, and then in here I've got alcohol prep pads, um, various medicines, uh, diacom stuff, plasters, other bits and pieces, um, just general stuff that will you know, come in handy, paracetamol, ibuprofen, so on and so forth. Um, on the outside I've got one of those Fluxon lights, um, this is a type that you can turn on permanently. Um, and then attached to the other zip I got one of those tri uh, night eyes glow in the dark thing so I can see it when it's next to my bed. Okay so on the inside I've got a hanky or bandana whatever you want to call it. Um, then I got a nice big roll of micro paracord. You can see there's uh, quite a, a lot in there. Um, don't know how long it is but it's pretty damn long. Um, then I got a plastic vial full of little glow in the dark sticks. Don't know why I put them in there, just why not. There was a, a spare hole so I whack one of them in there. I got a glow in the dark six inch light stick. Um, it's yellow, lasts 12 hours. Earplugs, there's four in there I think. Um, just in case you've got any noisy neighbours. That's it for, for that one. Then attached to this I've got a Leatherman um, style with a little inty tinsy. I don't know if I can do this one handed or not. No, no chance. But a little uh, fire knife. Um, little pair of scissors, a little nail file type thingy, and tweezers, that was the other one. Um, then I got a free pen I got from Builders Merchants, I got a, just a normal ballpoint pen I got from Builders Merchants, some jute twine which goes up with a spark quite easily. Um, I got one of those little metal pens, which when you take it out, is full of little screwdriver bits. various screwdriver bits, different sizes and such such like. Um, see if I can do that one handed. Here we go, it's a challenge isn't it? Come on, you know you can do it. Oh bugger it, can't be what. Here we go, there's that. Um, now, there was a reason why I put this little bit of wooden dowel in here. But upon opening up again today, I can't for the life of me think what that reason was. But there was definitely a reason why I had it in there. But like I say, it just don't come to me now. I don't know what it was. I have got a load of safety pins. I found these are really useful. Um, got a little two year old girl, not with her today because I'm travelling for work. Got a training course I've got to do. Um, but these are well handy for, say you stay in a hotel room, they give you a travel cot. they got mesh sides. Now, whatever you're doing in that room, that baby can you know, see out the side and it distracts it, stops from going to sleep, you know, light from the TV or walking around just with the lights on so you can actually see what you're doing. So what I do is at the bottom of the bed, it's usually one of these, um, I don't know what you call it, is it a valance or something? It's just a blue thing that goes over the bed. I wrap that around the actual travel cot and then I safety pin it on. So then the baby can't see out, it's more darker for it, it's more like they go to sleep alright. 
um, and then there's just a three inch nail don't know why that's in there a little sporky type thing um, and then a permanent marker and I think that's all for that side and obviously got the paracord as I said and I've got a toothbrush and toothpaste just in case I forget mine then got um, the bore let me just put this down it's the bore um, Scandi grind UK legal slippy it's a slip joint it don't lock as you can see but it's bloody sharp and it's like a fingerprint magnet though very nice glossy handle fits my hand perfect almost like a, you know decent sized bushcraft knife but it's a slip joint so it's legal carry anyway because the blade's under three inches cutting length and it folds readily so yeah that's that's in there um then i've got a lighter torch and i've got a swiss champ Victorinox got some super glue on it and it it's buggered up scales on that side that side's all right but that one and then just to add even more to the mix i've got a lemon juice c2 it goes in there got a 